everyone welcome back to creatives kitchen um, today we are going to do vegetable soup and we're going to use a lot of vegetables today and it's just literally vegetables and vegetable stock so these are the ingredients we have here today for the vegetable soup and this is Caribbean vegetable soup so for instance we have some chopped um, carrot and we have some chopped leek and we have some chopped sorry we have some mixed vegetables that's frozen mixed vegetables so I'm gonna add that to the vegetables as well because frozen mixed vegetables have a few different vegetables in it but it's not as nutritious as your own chopped vegetables so I'm mixing it so we get the nutrition and um, we have some um, two honey in favorite which I'm gonna put those in the food processor and we have a vegetable Caribbean soup as you can see this one made from vegetables as well, okra and pepper. Uh, if you can't get the Caribbean soup to add to your, to your vegetable soup, just get vegetable stock. It works just the same, but I like to use my Caribbean soup. If unfortunately I can't get my Caribbean soup, I get some vegetable, organic vegetable stock in as they're quite cheap, reasonable and they really good. give your soup a lovely taste. Um, squash this big bowl here is some squash a chopped also I'm going to half that amount of squash I have a big squash and I cut it in half so that's half the squash I use because it's a large one and I'm going to puree some of the squash to give it that nice color and also the leek and the onion will be going the food processor the others um, of the squash will be going into the um, soup. This is some plain flour. All you need to add to that, which Caribbean love dumpling in the soup, so I'm gonna make some small dumpling. And all you need to add to your dumpling for the soup is some salt and knead the dough with some water. That's it. So now we're going to get started and adding all the chopped vegetables that need to be had to the soup and then we are going to process. Oh, I, I don't remember if I mentioned some sweet potato. So I'm gonna have, cut some sweet potato and add to the soup. Give it like a nice sweet flavor. There's something about a sweet potato when you add it to the soup, it makes a difference. Also the carrot. Let's get started. So now guy, and this pan is boiling so I don't know if you can see that it's, that it's quite hot so I have to use the gloves to hold it. So I don't know if you can see the mark in the pan which is a uh, 2 litre of water in that pan. And that's the 3 litre mark here. I can't put my hand there because it's too hot. So you have the 3, I get a spoon and show you that. So you have the 3 litre mark at the top and that's the three litre mark and that's the two litre mark if it's going if i think i need more water i'll have that in but at the moment i'm using two litre of water and first i'm gonna add half this chopped squash to the pan in the boiling water and the others i'm gonna puree i'm uh, sorry put it in the food processor right and secondly i had the carrot it's just easy to do vegetable soup and believe me if you will enjoy it's quite nice and um, I'm not gonna have the frozen vegetables as yet I will be having the sweet potato because it takes some time to cook but at the meantime I'm going to put the rest of the squash in the fruit portion so with the onion and the leek and I'm gonna process these I'm adding that's the sweet potato I cut it in four because it's for four people this uh, vegetable soup you cannot cut the sweet potato in small pieces because what happened it will go mushy and too sweet in the soup so you cook them a bit larger than the other veg if the other veg go mushy that's okay because you want a soup 
So you want your soup to get the flavour from the veg. What you can do when these potatoes you cook, you cut them a bit smaller when serving. If you don't want to cut them smaller when serving, that's fine. But you have to cut them a bit larger than the other veg because you don't want them to get mushy enough in the, in the vegetable soup. And now we are going to get the other vegetables in the food processor. We have also two clove of garlic. So I'm going to add these garlic to the food processor. That's the leek chat in the food processor. And two chop onion, a red and a white onion. You can use either, either, two white, two red in the food processor. And we are going to add the chop, as I told you before, squash. So that's the onion, garlic and squash in the food processor. We're gonna process those and pour that into the pan with the other vegetables. The reason why I have done this, the squash give it a nice flavor, also colored. And you know when you use onion, onion brings out a nice flavor in the soup. I also have some fresh thyme that I'm gonna to add to the soup, which is from my garden. You can use dry thyme. I don't like the thyme in the jar. It doesn't give it a nice flavor. So if you can get some fresh thyme from the supermarket, that would be really good to have in your soup. And that helps bring it nice flavor. And you know that all spice, that little seed all spice. I have the grounded one. I'll show you that in a minute. Also, I'm gonna to add to the soup. Guys, this is all the vegetables that process in the processor and we are going to add this to the soup now. If you feel like you don't want bits of food in your soup, vegetable soup, just process it all. But if you want bits, I like to chew, I like the bits in my food and my children like a bits of food in the vegetable soup. So that's the reason why I chop them in cubes and add, and then process some of it to get the flavor. Now we are going to add this to the pan. This is about a quarter teaspoonful of salt and you add this salt to the mixture for the flour. So that's what we're going to make the dumplings put in the soup now. I'm just getting myself a spoon to mix the flour. So you can dig your hand in and mix it but I started with a spoon and then it's slightly easier. Mix the salt in and then plain water. Just keep adding your water till your dough come together it won't perfectly made when you are um, using a spoon so in the end of it you got to knead to get the dough together you can make it soft and just spoon it in but my kids won't eat it like that so I have to make them nicely so nearly together now as you see I just keep pouring the water so I'm going to take the spoon from it now I'm going to use the knife to take that bit off and then I'm going to put my hand in and make the dough a bit smoother so my hand is clean I wash my hands um, kneading the dough together now Sorry, that's one cup and a quarter of flour. You don't have to use that much. You can use less. You can use, depends on how you like dumpling. My children like dumplings, so I got to use, make more. But if you don't really like dumpling, then do less. Finish making the dough. We're gonna put the dough on the counter and we're gonna knead that, roll that dough out and cut them in small pieces and add them to our Pan. I'm gonna need roll this dough out so just put some flour on the counter so that it doesn't stick to the counter and we just knead and roll so you just knead it and keep rolling you can roll it like that and then what you do what I will be doing with this now I'll take the rolling pin I need some more flour on the counter just take some spoon and add some flour on the counter and spread it and I'm going to use my rolling pin. You don't have to leave it for long because it's dumpling. So it's just going to boil in the, in the soup. You roll it out. You can make a little small ball with it. 
depends on what you want. You can cut them in small. Don't make them too flat. So simple as that. And then gonna do it like this and that's it and you put those in there soup look the square make them a bit fat because they don't play and you can make them in little balls we're back to the pan with as you can see the other vegetables cooking and your little square dumplings as I said you can make them in ball this is how I cut them and I'm gonna have all it's a lot of dumpling but my kids love it so I'm gonna have all these dumplings to the pan if your pan that you use is small as mine and you feel it's getting overflow because I've never used this pan before I use a larger one but because I'm doing the video today I decided to use this pan but if you feel it's getting too small and it's overflowing use a larger pan I'm putting all the dumpling in, as you can see, and there, that's a sweet protein to the dumpling. Now, I'm going to add the mixed vegetable for the pan, and I believe I might have to change the pan. So I'm holding that vegetables, veg, and then I'm going to add my thyme, which is some fresh thyme. I'll go as I go along. I'll show you to change my pan because that one was overflowing. And even though it's um halfway full, this will not stay full by the time it finishes boiling it. Boil down a bit. So now I'm gonna have pepper pat mixed Caribbean soup. If you do not have this, please do vegetable or try the organic vegetable cube in Asda. It's really good. That's what I use if I can't get this mixed vegetable because sometimes you cannot get it. I got this in Tesco. So you can try in Tesco and you'll get this mixed back. So now, um, as you can see, that's what it looks like. It's powdery and it have a bit of fine noodle in it. And you go to the Caribbean Highland Tesco in try had a Tesco in your area or as there if you're not in, in the Caribbean, you just try the Caribbean store. So now I'm as I had that to it, I'm gonna have some mixed herb. A small amount of dry mixed herb and then I'm, which is about a teaspoon of mixed herb. And, all, and then I'm going for my thyme and hat to it. So now I'm going to cover it and leave it until I get my fresh thyme. Pan, sorry, I made a mistake. I only had one package. You need about two packages because it's a large amount of cooking and you need the flavoring. So one package will not do. So you're going to have two packages. You just add it. You don't need to mix it. You just add it and then mix it into the soup. And it's only vegetable. And if you believe your flavor is not to your standard, what you want, and you want a bit more, add another half a package. Please don't add three packages. Guys, now I've been to the garden and I got some fresh thyme, and I'm just gonna, as it is, I add it to the soup. When it's cooked, take the thyme out. The next thing that's give it a good flavor, either this chili or that chili. That's the Caribbean chili and that's the other chili you can use either. Just a small amount of chili. Don't add a lot if you have children because it will do strong. So I'm going to have just a small piece of one of these. That one have a burn on the hand. I bought them in Hasda. Um, and I'm going to add some mixed herb, dry mixed herb. Just a little. So say a teaspoon. 
I'm not measuring it, I'm just taking it. And that's it. After you had all these ingredients, leave it to simmer on a low flame, not high flame, because what will happen if you put it on a high flame, the food starts sticking, the vegetables start sticking in the bottom of the pan. So have it on a, a low flame for 25 minutes, then serve. So now I'm just gonna use my knife like a Caribbean style and cut a small amount of this chili pepper, not a lot. Some of my children can take the spice, some cannot. So I'm making it mild. So as you can look in this soup, it looks lovely and nice already. I have a wooden spoon, so I got another, I'm gonna get another spoon. So I use a, another spoon that I was using before. And you can see, nice color. And just leave that to simmer on a low flame and keep stirring to make sure nothing stay in the bottom of the pan and as i say that's the size i cut the sweet potato in you don't need to add anything more to this if you feel you add no salt because that stock or the vegetable cube is salt and this um can go for vegan and vegetarian there's no meat, no animal product, it's just naturally vegetable. And now we're gonna leave this to simmer on a low flame. So now I'm gonna turn the flame down and put the lid on and leave the flame. It's not the same pan because I had too much in the other and I never used the other one before, so I had to transfer it. Now I leave it to simmer, cook for 25 minutes. When I'm serving guide, you'll see. Um, this soup is now finished and this is how it looks. It's still boiling and the, and the cooker, I'm now gonna take it off the cooker and serve it in bowl. But this is, I uh, make some stirring. So you can see the bits in it and that's how it looks. And it's lovely, have a lovely and nice taste. So now we're gonna take it off and serve it. Right guys, this is the finish and now the soup is done and this is the vegetable soup and it's lovely and delicious and I encourage you guys to give this soup a try. Believe me, you'll enjoy it. Remember to turn the thumbs up, like and subscribe to my video to receive new video each week. Bye for now, see you in my next video.